What's going on guys? In this video, we're talking about cheat meals, all right? Are they beneficial for you or are they ruining your gains? Is there any other way for you to take that little break without ruining your gains, all right? Yes, there is. It's called refeed meals. I'll talk about that a little bit later, but I want to talk about cheat meals first and their drawbacks, all right? You can't take that little mental break, but it doesn't have to be pizza, fried food, cheese, all right? Me, I'm, I'm talking to myself first. Today was my brother's birthday. We went to a restaurant. Mostly what I ate was high fat foods and a lot of sugars, all right? Chocolate. I had I had fries, I had this, that, a lot of oil, a lot of fried stuff, all right? Now I'm having digestive issues, cramps. I missed my meal that I was supposed to eat now, and I'm sure tomorrow morning I'm gonna wake up all bloated. Is it really benefiting me, all right? No, we, we were like, oh, cheating is gonna give you a little break, you're gonna feel like you're relaxed, this, that. It's not the reality, all right? You gotta feed your body, you gotta treat it like a high quality car, and you can't just put any fuel in there, cheat meal or not. There are ways to giving your body that little break, but without necessarily eating fries and pizza, all right? I, I made the mistake and I'm, I'm not perfect, all right? I'm just telling you guys what works doesn't mean that I'm 100% perfect. I try my best. Now, refeed meals. Let's talk about refeed meals. Refeed meals have a purpose, all right? What you eat, even on a cheat, on a high calorie day, high carb day, low carb day, everything has a purpose, all right? You wanna take that little break? Well, it has a purpose and you have to know what you're eating. It's not just saying, well, I'm gonna take today, eat whatever I want because it's gonna wreak havoc on your digestion, on your gains, and you might ruin your results, all right? Let's say you're in a 500 deficit all every single day of the week and now you're taking your cheat meal every Saturday and you go for 5,000 calories a day. Well, guess what? That cheat meal just missed all your previous gains that you made, all right? And that's why your weight is not moving much. So talking about cheat meals, I'm not a big fan of overdoing it. I tell people, uh, well, cheat meals not at all, but refeed meals even, high calorie days, all right? Maybe you can do it once every two weeks, all right? You don't wanna overdo it. Now let's talk about refeed meals. Refeed meals are different than cheat meals because they have a purpose. What you're giving to your body, you're nourishing your body in a way that it's going to benefit you for future gains. All right. So refeed meals, most of the time, very low fat, high carbs and moderate protein. All right. The goal of the refeed meals is refeeding your muscle glycogen. Muscle glycogen is carbs that are stored in your muscles that give you that kind of impression of having full muscles, all right? More carbs holds to more water, your muscles look full. When you're dieting for a little while, all right, you start depleting muscle glycogen, and that's why we look flat, all right? You look flat, your muscle lo lose a lot of kind of that good volume, all right? A lot of glycogen that is lost, and that's why refeed meals come into place. When you're shredding down, you're dieting, working out day after day after day, you start getting depleted, so you need to refeed those muscles to give you a little bit more fuel, more juice for the week to come, all right? And refeed meals, my favorite sushi, all right? Jay Cutler used to be, be a big fan of going sushi refeed meal. Most bodybuilders actually love sushi, all right? Very easy to eat, very, well, low fat, yeah, sushi, they have salmon and avocado, but you get the point, all right? You wanna make sure that it's high carbs, a carb that you can digest easily and that you can consume a lot of, all right? Most of the time it could be white rice, rice cakes, uh, white bread, you know, it could be many things. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Some people can do it with oats. The only thing with oats is that there's a lot of fiber, so it's gonna fill you up a lot. But you wanna do it with the high quality carbs, a good source of protein, all right? You wanna keep that meal high in protein. You don't want it to be super low in protein either. But the important thing is that the fats are low, all right? Because you wanna feed and use those extra calories to base for a purpose to fill up your muscle glycogen, all right? Fats are not gonna do much. Now all the fats that I ate are not gonna fill up my muscle glycogen. They can't, it's fat, it's not carbs. They can't be stored as muscle glycogen, all right? So that's the difference for refeed. I'm trying to think, oh my God, I'm having a brain fog. What can you do for refeeds? Well, some people like having, I don't know, bread with honey on top. You can have uh, oats, you can have pasta, pasta with tomato sauce, that could be a good refeed. All right, it could be potatoes, not fries. It could be what I had to, uh, what, I, what I said was sushi. All right, so that's it for this video, guys. Go for a refeed, don't go for cheat meals. I'm sorry, I know this video wasn't very well filmed. All right, you know, that might be because of the cheat meal. You see, it's even impacting my head because usually I film my videos, I press on play, boom, boom, boom. Now it's like if I'm trying to find my words. So guys, we're almost 3,000 subscribers, all right? If you haven't subscribed, leave a subscribe, click on this bell button, do all this stuff. 
that you can do to support me and also so you can see more videos. I'm going to post one video every single day. Every single day you'll see a video of me. All right, I'll see you guys soon.